was real young Her best friend is a skinhead chick She knows an Asian boy named Yik Caitlyn, she is very chic But I am still in love with a girl named Spike A girl named Spike And I am still in love with that girl named Spike I am still in love with a girl named Spike A girl named Spike You're listening to the I'm in love with a girl named Spike at Degrassi Podcast I'm your host, Mike Park, along with my co-host, Hannah Eagle. Hello. And Rick Johnson. Hi. Uh, we are on Beat It, which is a Michael Jackson tune made famous by Weird Al Yankovic with his rendition called Eat It. I listened to that Weird Al version the other day. I listened to some Weird Al. Uh, there's like a documentary or like behind the music where Weird Al was talking about how painstakingly accurate they try to get with the covers their version mm-hmm. sounds so crazy like not even close miss the mark <laughs> oh really yeah if you listen to them back to back it's like what is going on and oh, then i listened to it. yeah i listened to nirvana's uh smells like teen spirit and then smells like nirvana and it's like oh okay exactly we, we, weird al did not have the budget to recreate these songs yeah but oh gerardo's uh rico suave and taco grande pretty spot on so taco grande so i remember taco grande he's like what is what is a line in that song i remember there's a line that made me chuckle quite a bit do you remember any lyrics in trying taco to think. grande trying to think it means about the man. we used to no man no man, man. <laughs> We used to listen to that on tour a lot, the greatest hits, and we just laugh and laugh. Comes Hannah, are you die? Are you dyeing your hair right now? Yeah. Post dye. It's done being dyed. It's probably gonna fall out. Uh, Holy shit, Hannah! You know what I told you? You looked like before. Yeah. I would like for you to look up. Um, uh, oh, what's his name from Blue Velvet? Uh. Why am I blanking on this? Uh, Nicholas Cage. No, he's on Blue. David Bell. Lynch. Nope. Uh, he was an easy writer. Fuck. Brigitte, Brigitte Nielsen. No. Gwen oh, Stefani. What is that guy's name? He's Clint real, Eastwood. He's a real maniac. David Lynch. Oh, Gallagher. Gallagher, yes. Uh, look up the Super Mario Brothers movie, the live action one. Captain Lou Albano. And then look up the villain. Cindy Lauper. Your hair looks like. Oh, yeah. What's his name? Fuck him. Terrible. I don't know. He's also in uh, Speed. Yeah. Max Hedrum. No. God damn it. No, that is not even a real guy. It is a real guy, but. But his name's not Max Hedrum. Is it? Cody Rhodes. <laughs> uh, Dennis Hopper. Why could I not? Dennis could not Hopper. think of Dennis Hopper. I could not think of Dennis Hopper. Mike. Not to get too off the mark, but the Super Mario Mario Brothers movie, what a stacked cast. It's pretty great. You got Dennis Hopper, John Legozamos, that lady uh from American Psycho as Princess right. Peach. Mojo Nixon. When did it come out? Bob Hoskins. Bob Hoskins. Love Bob um, Hoskins. Early 90s. Was Captain Lou Albano in it? He is not. Wasn't he in it? Like some was he's he like in Mario? the live action Mario Brothers television program. Was he Luigi or Mario? He was Mario. Sick. What about Riley? What is your thoughts on Riley, Hannah? Uh love his chaos. <laughs> I do actually love this episode. It's crazy because like some of these I just know so well because like the gay ones I just like I'm always like fascinated by. This is uh, part one we're doing. We're not going to do both. We're just doing part one for episode 265 of the I'm in love with a girl named Spike at the Grassy. It's not 265, podcast. but that's fine. It's it. 255. 255. Two, 255. Two, 254 two, last week. 255 yeah. because we are five episodes away from the five year mark. Of the I'm in love with a girl named Spike at Degrassi podcast. Uh, like Riley, a... gay, gay, S- super gay. Get gay. In, what more can you say? Getting boners over the lifeguard, giving mouth to mouth resuscitation to Recessa Annie. 
I, sometimes I'm so glad I was not a gay, young, closeted male. Yeah. It must be hard. Is this pool <laughs> on the grassy grounds? <laughs> sure, why not? <laughs> why are we first learning of this pool now? Well, think about, they had the pool in the first season of in- Degrassi. That was, in a, that was well, in a community. School. Yeah, that was a different school. It was also in a community center. Yeah, but if they have a pool accessible in junior high, they're going to have one in high school. Did you like when Riley's just biting his lower lip, just yeah. lusting over the the uh, CPR, the uh, I, mouth, mouth CPR? The best part of this episode is that random kid that keeps calling Riley out, Riley out on his boners. So he yeah. does this multiple times. Yeah, and his haircut is insane. <laughs> yes, <laughs> he looks like a John Hughes like uh, character. Does he? Yeah. Does he say something? Let's see. He goes, it's "Whoa, fine, fine, or firm." Whoa, <laughs> whoa, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Straight into the pool. It's a smart move, though. It was a smart move. His cover up. I was thinking about my girlfriend. Shut up, guys. I was thinking about my girlfriend. Still weird. Is that your impression of Riley? Yeah. This is fine. Fine or firm? Fine or firm? <laughs> guys. Shantae's in this, this class. This is hair. I really have to emphasize again. Crazy. They are throwing Shantae so many bones this season. They better. Somebody should. <laughs> she should be out of this school by now. Eight eight seasons without a, a main storyline. Making up for last time. I also right? just don't believe when we return from the, the theme song, I'm watching it live. Yeah. I don't believe that Riley, Fiona, Fitz, Shantae, and Blue would be sitting at a table together. But I, I guess I don't know. It's weird that like blue it's random. weird that blue is in there. Weird that Shantae is in there. Well, Shantae is I think they're trying to set up that this is the popular crew, the popular older crew. Oh my god. Is that Boner Kid sitting with them? Yes. Yeah. Is that What's his Fitz? Name? Does Fitz. he have a name? Is he a regular in this? He will be bigger later on, but I could couldn't for the life of me remember his name for a second. He kind of looks like the singer of Sum 41. I don't know why, but he doesn't look like him at all. But at the same time, he looks like him a little bit. Yeah? Why Why do you want to dye your hair? It's done. I know, but why? Um, uh, I wanted to hit my roots because I Wait, had already she, bleached it. And she wanted she want to look like Dennis Hopper in Super Mario Brothers. They were Brothers. yellow. They're, it's why, probably going to fall out. Why don't you want your natural hair color? I don't know. I don't know why I do anything that I do. I also like got the urge to buzz it all off today. So, how much does it cost for the color? She does it herself. I, I know, but but she's got to buy the thing. How much is it? I've got like a tub. So all together, it was like forty bucks, and I just keep using the same stuff. How long will it last? How many applications? The way it'll la- the bleach itself will last. You know. But my hair grows very fast, so it'll probably be like a month or so before the roots are in pretty good. You don't like the roots showing? Um, No, I do. It's just they had gotten to be like this long. <laughs> so, ah, Rick, Rick is on his phone. He's looking Someone owe you money? My hair. Someone no. owe you money? What's going on? Oh. Who's, uh, who's texting? I can't talk about it on air. About Uh-oh. Pyramid Scheme got a very large get of a show that I was just informed about and I was told that I shouldn't go on tour in March. Oh, just because they want you to handle it? Yeah. The one the one show. Wow. <sighs> Back to Degrassi. You don't like Riley and Fiona as a couple? Did you say that? Did someone say that? Well, Riley and Fiona. I actually do like it. I they're, just know I that do. they're both gay. I- yeah, they're I fine. As we learn later when Riley is really trying to prove that he's not gay, Fiona is basically like, I would not be dating you if this is what we were going to be doing. She basically yeah, tells she's, him she's gay. She's like, 
you are my beard. Yeah. And, and I am your I am your beard. I am your beard. <laughs> I like she knows. It's a perfect match made in heaven then. Honestly, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about uh, Judy Jow? She's got some lines. She, Is this our class? Yeah, it's our class. They're going to start sculpting. Did you take any like ceramics in high school? Yes. Anything like that? I took me. many, many in art class. Do you still have some of the ceramics that you gave your parents as like Mother's mm -hmm. Day gift? So I made a giant dragon. Where is it now? It's at my parents probably. I also made a lot of ashtrays, but yeah, yeah. neither of That's my right. parents smoked. Huh. So that was weird. So you made a lot of junk. I made a lot of junk. That they couldn't throw away. Yeah, but I glazed a bunch of stuff. So that was cool. Ooh. So the dragon is not at your parents' house? It's not visible? Just It's out. not on... <laughs> uh, so fun fact about my parents is my mother is an artist and her mm. art is baskets. She makes artistic baskets like fancy um kind of weird looking baskets not functional oh. sounds lame what's a basket that's not functional it's an art basket so like you could put stuff in the basket but it's not functional boring yeah, one close enough. You're the last two. <laughs> You're going down, pal. All right, just try not to kill me, please. Only reason I won't. I'm gonna ask you a girl question. What happened? Do you don't realize she's out of your league? Hilarious. No, I just need to convince her to sleep with me. Well, you guys have been dating for a while. I guess you got those confused thoughts out of your system. Just had to find the right girl. The only thing is, she wants to wait. Uh, well, if she wants to wait, you're waiting. You can't just convince her. So you're saying do nothing? Yes. Yeah. Great advice, man. Good advice. It is good advice. It actually is good advice. Yeah. yeah. Actually, the better advice it. would be you are gay. Yeah. Be gay would be the advice I would give him. Yeah, fuck the lifeguard. Yeah. Instead of punching him in the face. Below the lifeguard. <laughs> Life is short. Is Connor this just the statistician? Statistician on the basketball team? You mean the best player? No, isn't he just doing? He looks like he's doing stats. On I don't the bench. think so. He might be doing stats on the bench. I don't know. Well, he is. He's got a. He's got a pen. He's got a clipboard. He's writing he's the, stuff down. He's the guy in, with glasses and bad news bears. Mm -hmm. Oh, Ogilvy? Yeah. Ogilvy. Yes. <laughs> I, I love Ogilvy. The original your... bad news bears is so good. It is it's so good. It's so good. The remake, favorite, no. Do you have a favorite line from that movie? Is it involved Tanner? Tanner is so One good. One of my... I have two favorites. One is when the um I forget the name of the the chubby kid. But the Engelberg. They, yeah, they hop over the fence and he bites into a Snickers bar, but he bites through the wrapper. And then over he <laughs> goes, "Couldn't you at least have unwrapped it?" <laughs> it's so good. It sucks he didn't do the second one when they went to uh I know. Japan. Oh, no, they went break breaking training. I believe is the second one. Mm. Which is still a fantastic movie. Even when they go to Japan, it's a freaking great movie, too. Kelly Lee? Who's Kelly Lee? Rick? Who's Kelly Lee uh, in Bad News Bears? He is the guy that plays Freddy Krueger now. Uh, yeah. No. In the reboot. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, he's and also he's in Shutter in, Island. He's... And he's in Watchmen. Yeah. He's got, he went dark. Yeah, he went dark. He but... was in Breaking Away. He was the, the short guy in Breaking Away. He was in Breaking Away. Fantastic film as well. Where were he? he was also, he played like a pedi pedophile and he was at like a public pool Then he cut his penis off. What movie was that? I don't, I don't remember that. I'll have to look it up. Did you know he that the... Penis off? Yeah. 
that movie mm-hmm. breaking away the 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 rival bicycle gang is the, well, the, from I, italy no no the like the the jocks you know like the college oh the cutters. the cutters the cutters and jocks. Got yeah, the, yeah yeah the, the jocks the main jock is the guy that gets shot first and die hard what yeah he's like hands baby oh that's he was in he, he was yeah, in, he's in breaking away he also directed one of my favorite films what what would that be pcu i don't know it don't so, know it it's got don't george know. george clinton's in it john favreau scott ska, ska the guy from hepcats in it it's not swingers no does uh david Spade... have another boner they're back in the pool what's the discussion the discussion cool. is they're trying to figure out who's hotter, Katie or Shantae. And then they ask that lifeguard, and that lifeguard's like inappropriate, not worth it. And they keep ribbing them. And then finally the lifeguard's like, I'm gay. Yeah. Which was oh, the answer. They're treading which, water the whole yeah, time. Too. Which was the answer that Riley was fishing for. Oh. So he's freaking happy. Yeah. He could be. He could be so happy. I got to see this little basketball scene here with the game on the line. Dave hitting the, the shot. Trying to inbound the pound. Oh. Don't come to me. Don't come to me. Don't come to me. <laughs> Three seconds. Three seconds. Shoot. Star. when i was watching this earlier and i think i imagined this when when that basket when the when the ball goes in the basket i thought i heard a whirly gig that was like Whoop. but it didn't happen i was excited to maybe hear it on your headphones there i don't know what the hell you're talking about you know those whirly I... gigs I They're love like, the LARPing. Oh, the those little whistles? Yeah. What is this uh, Renaissance Fair scene that's going on here? Well, we there is a setup that we didn't talk about, which is that Anya keeps skipping out on Stude's practice so she can go to self-defense class, which just ends up she's LARPing in the ravine. She's LARPing in the ravine with the art teacher. Yeah. Why it's should she so be unbearable. at Stu's practice? Why is she at Stu? She's not in the Stu's. Because she wants no, to LARP. She's a, she's a girlfriend. They're all... They're making their girlfriends watch their practice for some reason. Because there's nothing else to do in the city of Toronto. Do you think? Did you think Anya and the teacher were going to make out, Hannah? Hannah. You did? I know. It kind of just seems like it's something I would make up in my mind when I was 14 as like the end all be all greatest thing that could happen to me. It's like role playing in the woods with a teacher. <laughs> teacher is kind of hot. Yeah. Is she? Yeah, I she think is. So. <laughs> Princess Carella, thank you. I've been waiting to use that enchantment. Well, your improvement is noted. Hey, it's weird. I'm I'm playing a role, but I feel like I can be myself. Yeah, it shows. There's a a confidence about you that, that I don't see at school. So out of I'm more important here than in real life. Oh no, no, that's not true. No, we got Avantia. We return with great news. The Knights of Taha, with their growing ranks, will attack us. I can't take it. I do like it. But I can't take it right now. I can't take the Renaissance. I can't judge. I play D&D, so I can't really judge too much. It's just D&D on your feet. I like her that she likes to play. Just role play. LARPing. <gasps> I'm learning from Hannah. LARPing. 
live action role playing writing it down this is great did you guys like the movie role role models didn't see it who's in it yeah um with that guy dennis Dennis hopper no paul rudd paul rudd dax shepherd no jason oh oh it's uh that other guy from thomas um... scott thomas anderson or whatever his name is it's not scott thomas American Pie that's, guy, Stifler. That's the kids in the hall guy. A oh, wee man, Sean wee man Scott. It? Yeah, right? no, well, uh, wee man is not in it. Isn't it is Sean it? William Scott? Yes, Sean William yes. Scott. Uh, what's the guy from Superbad is also in it? Jonah Hill. Plus. McLovin. McLovin's in it. John S- McLovin's in it. Mitz yeah. Plus. Jane what Seymour's... about that jackass? That jackass uh, skit where Wee Man is with another little person, a female little person. They're at the bar, like drinking. They they purposely go into this like kind of hick bar, and then this other little person comes up. It's like, let's just say her name is Fiona. Also, Fiona, what are you doing? What are you cheating on me? And he's he like starts going at it, and suddenly all these little people start getting it. It's like a full <laughs> bar room brawl. And then the police come, and it, but it's all little people police. Oh my and god! And then like a couple people get hurt, so then like the paramedics come, and it's all little people, and the bar people are just like, "What the hell's going on?" <laughs> You've never seen that? I've seen that. I have, I think. My yeah, favorite, yeah. my favorite wee man is when wee man bungee jumps off uh, Preston. Like, Who's it, Preston? It, he's the big guy, the big fat guy. Mm-hmm. He like. He bungee jumps off. Yeah, of him. they've attached like a bungee cord to him. And they're on a bridge, <laughs> <laughs> and and Wee Man jumps off, and like the bungee works, but Preston loses it and falls in the water. But the way it like worked is that like Preston fell into the water before Wee Man, but also the bungee stretched so when he hits the water, the bungee just like shoots Wee Man into the water like at terminal velocity. <laughs> Oh God! I love jackass. Danger. It always Riley trying to put on the moves. Now he's in his room with the uh, Thursday poster. Have you seen Bam lately? Speaking of jackass, he like drug. I think yeah. there's like an open warrant out for his arrest, or he's been arrested, and he looks tore up. Yeah. He's doing math, you think, or I think he's I just, he's just drinking. Yeah, he doesn't. He, he doesn't like look that. methy. No, he looks boozy. Yeah, he's like. Fake ass bone thumbs in harmony. You mean sure it is? What are you doing? I I just want you so bad. Can you barely touch me since we've met, and now you're acting like this horny gorilla? You're my girlfriend. We're supposed to make out, okay? (laughs) Okay. I thought we both didn't want the physical stuff. Why would you think that? You've never shown much interest until now. Fiona, if you're listening to those rumors... It's not just that. It's how you parade me around at school. It's like you have something to prove. I thought you liked me. I do. We, we can keep dating while you figure Dang. this stuff out. But if I thought you were straight, we wouldn't be doing this. Get out. Huh? Really, don't be like this. Just go! Oh. God. I would think, I think he'd get some courage after the lifeguard like outed himself. He'd be like, yeah, if you can do it. Really chill with it. No. Hell yeah, man. It's just not like it's the 1980s. This is 2010 ish. Yeah. 2000, wait, when? 2013. Come what? on. What's the, what's the. I think it's actually 2009. Oh. What's the boner guy's name again? Fitz. Riley. No, no. The boner guy. The kid, the kid, the kid that keeps oh, pointing Fitz. out the boner. Fitz. I'm gonna write this down. I love this carnival scene so much. 
Okay, lifeguard comes in. And this, he, this is going to be a boner. I'm doing an aquatic leadership promo at your school fair. You guys going? Yeah, probably. probably. Good. So, Riley, you up for a little friendly competition? Maybe some ski ball? Yeah, I don't know. Maybe uh, some ski ball. You gotta go, man. You know who goes to the fair? Hot single girls. <laughs> yeah, somebody's got to win them all Everybody those carnival knows that. Okay, so I don't feel at noon. When I stop there at four, get a new girl's digits at four. I thought he was going to have a boner, so I was, that's why I put on the audio. No. No? You said he does multiple, Fitz has multiple encounters where he's, he's like, whoa. No, 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 no. He just will not drop that Riley got a boner in the pool. I feel cheated. Yeah, it's not my fault you don't understand. Why do I think the art teacher is hot? She's kind of weird Why looking. Do you but think that? I don't know. After I saw her in the Renaissance film, uh, LARPing. <laughs> LARPing. Was that, is that, am I saying it right? LARPing? Yeah. yeah. After I saw her LARPing, I've become quite a fan. Does she have a name that any of you know? Mrs. Potty. Yeah. Sounds great. Probably only in this, these two episodes. Shut in, up. In Grand Rapids, in this park, they used to have like a big LARPing scene. When you drive what were they by, LARPing? they were just battling it, duking it out with foam swords in this park. Hell and then, yeah. like, a homeless shelter moved in, and all the homeless mm -hmm. people took over the park. And now the LARPers can't LARP in the park anymore because it was getting they could, mm. they could still LARP, but they're scared. Yeah, they have to be brave. Yeah, <laughs> they got to change. They got to put their money where their LARP is. They got to change it to Judgment Night. Um, LARPing. The there's a piece of trivia about this episode which is kind of funny, which is this is the last episode in which Blue has a speaking role. Whoa, this is it. <laughs> Goodbye, <laughs> Blue. Enjoy it while it lasts. <laughs> he had a lot of lines in this. So Linda Scholar probably yeah. was like, "Get him out of here." Yeah, no Smoke good. If you got him. Well, Blue's the dude who liked Holly J. Yes, the, he drew Holly J. Correct. Yeah, but yep. he didn't get Holly J. <laughs> Why didn't he get Holly J? Because Holly she J wants him. Spinner, but she likes Declan too now. I'm so confused. Do you think Holly this is the same dunk pit that Spinner got dunked a billion times um, by Jimmy when the religious kids uh, hate crimes, Marco? Yes. Oh, snap. <laughs> is this the same fair? That. It's 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 got to be the same fair. I would assume that the production just rented the same from the same spot. Hmm. What about the extras? The guy who uh, served up the cotton candy in the oh, so good. It. I forgot that those big cotton candy hoods just look like trash cans, <laughs> like oversized <laughs> trash cans. Do you do you love cotton candy, Rick? I don't love it because I do not like how it disintegrates in your mouth. Like it, it, it was, it was once a solid. Now it is a liquid. Are, Anna, you, are you drinking Kool Aid? What is that? I'm drinking hot water with lemon. It's water with Neo in it. Ooh. So, so adult Kool-Aid. Well, I was and laughing at myself because I was candy. just about to be like, I don't like cotton candy, but then I was like, I'm basically <laughs> drinking cotton candy right now. Has anyone ever seen this carnival game where they you just feed balls into an alien's mouth? No. I've also never seen the camel thing. The camel thing I felt uneasy about for some reason. I did too. But I was like, well, these machines were probably made in a long it's time ago. It's usually a horse. Yeah. The also, the girl working the camel stand. What, hottie? babe? Yeah, yeah hottie. Smoking on hottie. So Dave? The lifeguard... Go ahead. Sorry. Oh, no. Say, say your piece about the lifeguard. I'm the gonna... lifeguard knows 100% of Riley is gay. Yes. 100%. Yeah, well, everybody knows. Yeah just not riley yeah after that boner everybody knows yeah you think the lifeguard wants to become like no. a couple no not at all no. i think what's that, he want Riley's well that lifeguard catch. is just trying to 
trying to live his life and then realizes that this little gay kid is closeted and it feels bad take a psychosexual obsession with him yeah he's trying to help him no not at all no he's no. like i just work here yeah oh what was the hot girl at the fair what it what it what booth she's running camel the booth. camel booth maybe i that didn't comes want back later. I, I did not want to say the full name it makes me uncomfortable camel booth no 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 what what is a person that rides a horse called caddy cowboy uh, no uh, no it's a, a, a jockey yes i didn't want to put the two words together oh cowboy <laughs> Cam- you like, want to say camel? I didn't want to say it. It feels wrong to me. Wait, is Judy Jow? Judy Jow has freaking lines. She's got she's all what? sort of lines. Oh. Okay, let's listen. I just gotta hear. It's called larfing, larping. Ah! Live action role playing. It's like a video game, but real, except for the swords. Um, if Danny and Sass saw this, they'd laugh their heads off. Why do you think I haven't told anyone? Miss Dawes. Miss Dawes. Got it. Writing it down. <laughs> she looks great. She loves LARPing. You guys don't care. You know what? No. I do love the LARPing, but I don't care a lot. Um, it's interesting also because when Riley hits um I'm watching this episode live. When Riley hits um the gay guy. The girl from the camel booth, some other weird blonde girl, and Fitz just like are really zoomed in on after that. Sure. As if they're like main characters. So is Riley character. moved on to Shantae? Ma- Riley's oh. trying to get with Shantae. He's not gonna he's trying, he's making desperate moves. He goes in hard for a kiss and Shantae is <laughs> like I just, hell saw no. I just saw it right now. Woo! What? She is pissed off. Dave is unhinged. <laughs> with oh uh, my god, with that other girl too. Mm-hmm. Whoa, whoa! What are you doing? Don't you have a girlfriend? We broke up, and I thought that uh... Unless we're just barely friends, dude. But well, you just said that. What? That I want to get with a guy just from girl to girl in an afternoon? You can't keep that. Keep right? what down just because I don't like being jumped in the Degrassi parking lot? Shantae, you're right. Yeah, it's just Riley here practicing his mouth to mouth. Whoa, the hot girl is the girl with like the bandana. That's who you think is the hot girl? No, no, hmm. brunette, camel boots. brunette. <gasps> wow, what an athlete! He dunks the lifeguard in one throw. Now he looks like the the steroid Riley from earlier, Degrassi. I'm at the camel booth there. Oh, so did you say you don't know this game, Rick? Oh, I, I know, know the game, game, but I've never seen it with a camel. Oh, interesting. You know, you throw the ball in the hole. Usually a horse, right? Yeah. Did Casey win? Uh, oh. Casey does win. I saw the girl, Hannah. Of course you did. She's a, she got main character energy. To yeah. Me. I like her because no, not a lot of makeup, just natural. Yeah, she's a you natural beauty. She's a carny too. She's so a carny. She, she, so you know she's freaky. Missing Damn, a couple, dude. Like if, she's if missing a couple guard, teeth, probably. <laughs> Damn. If the, if the swim coach, right? No, he is. he's just a lifeguard. I think he's just a lifeguard that's teaching them to swim. I guess so. He's teaching a lifeguard safety course. Yeah, he's like, CPR. Okay. So if he's working at the fair, maybe uh, he's she... not. I don't think he's working at the fair. He's just in the don't he's volunteer. He's volunteer, volunteer. Yeah. Right. Did he go to Degrassi? I don't. Did know. she? Did I the girl know. with the bandana go to Degrassi? There's many questions. I, I don't. I've never seen her. Oh, wait, Dave at the camel uh, jockey games. <laughs> what? What? Why is? Why did he leave? No and problem. he's trying to. He's trying to win a prize for what's her face. For the girl who's working? No, for um his cousin Shantae. No, who's the no. girl that plays guitar? Dennis Hopper. Oh, Jenna. 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 He's he's trying to get with Jenna because then Casey and Claire 
Casey wins the prize, and then Dave is like, "Look it, we got to go to ring toss. I got to win something for my girlfriend." And she's like, "My girl, my girlfriend." As he Who yanks her that? away, Jenna. She like mouse. Whoa. My girlfriend. So she doesn't know that they're a couple. Well, they're not. They're not a couple. Oh, so that's why he walks away. I gotta learn. More dialogue, less music. Hey, is there any way to buy one of those and make a handsome donation? I got three bucks. We're shutting down. But I need one. So shutting down, honey. Let's try the basket tops. You're bound to win something there, Mr. Three Pointer. One way or another, I'm going to get a prize for my girlfriend. <laughs> Psychotic. Yeah. I like it. Look, I'm going to listen to this, this entire scene here. I'm sorry. You guys no, you chill. Should. You should get there. And then hey, man. Zoom in on my girl. I heard that there was Shantae. You got your signals crossed, I guess. It's none of your business. Look, I know it's tough dating in high school. Everybody sees everything. What do you care, dude? I I just want you to know that it's going to be okay. You remind me of me. What? Gay? No. Why? Are you? Hey, Sam, wait. I'm sorry. What? Are, so the, the carny kids... <laughs> the one dude is eating popcorn? That's Fitz. That's Fitz. That's, That's Fitz. Fitz. <laughs> That's Holy what I'm saying. Moly. And why do they zoom in on those two girls so intensely? <laughs> I don't know, but Fitz is my favorite now. And he's he's like... just... <laughs> <laughs> He's thrilled that he's got to be here for every single interaction <laughs> between these two people. The two girls have this insane like look of uh concern and fitz is smiling just Thrilled. eating a, a popcorn also it's crazy because if he was so he goes what gay and the guy goes no why are you and if he had just walked been like no people might not have thought that he was but because he freaks out <laughs> it's just so obvious poor guy he's got he's got issues but i know that's it to be continued next week talk to y'all later bye 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 bye, bye.